Hi, I'm Greg Feeler from San Oakland, Francisco, San Jose, California. The channel EQ in Logic Pro X. The assignment for week five is to demonstrate the configuring of an EQ plugin to function like a large format mixing console EQ section. My first uh, music production client, Ray Bird, he pays me in beer, was initially skeptical that I could capture uh, on my computer the same kind of quality he did on his uh, Fostex Model 250 recorder mixer. The EQ section of this mixer is quite simple. It has a high shelf filter at 4000 Hz and a low shelf filter at 300 Hz. This was very easy to emulate, but when we listened to it, we knew we could do better. A starting point for equalization for different kinds of voices and instruments. You can find this on the Independent Recording Network website. Check it out. After listening to several tracks, we arrived at this equalizer for Ray's voice. It has a high pass filter, a high shelf filter, and a low pass filter. To save CPU, turn off the filters that are not in use. Clicking on the name of the EQ gives you the ability to load, save, change defaults, as well as access to several built-in EQs. Rather than go into the details of how I set up these filters, I want to go into some of the other things I learned about using the Channel EQ plugin. Click on the triangle in the lower left corner to reveal some extra options. The analyzer is quite useful. You can adjust the scale on the left and the range on the right. You can see the frequency response both post and pre-equalization. I find it useful to set the mode on RMS and the decay to zero. This shows the peaks for the period I analyzed. 